So Shannon, you were big on the Patriots going with Cam Newton mm -hmm. before he was released this week. So how much truth is there to what Jermaine is saying? Well, Skip, I don't think there's a whole lot of truth and there's no way to uh, quantify it, especially at the beginning, because he might struggle and then it benefit him like it did Peyton Manning. I believe this is a 10 or 11 win team. I believe they can make the playoffs. That's how good I believe the talent base is for this team. They, no matter the quarterback. No matter the quarterback. Okay. Because, Skip, they're going to rely heavily on the run game. This is what they want to do. They're going to play a lot of 12 personnel. Now, I don't know how soon Hernan Henry is getting back, but they like to play 12 personnel and run the football, play action off of that. Mac Jones gets the ball out of hand extremely quick. Now, he's going to have to understand he can't hold the ball. He doesn't have Alabama's offensive line. No. So he's going to have to get rid of the football, and he's done a great job of that, except the last game, Skip, when he held the ball too long, and he went down, if I'm not mistaken, four times. But I like – so for to say it's a huge mistake, Skip, even if he does struggle, maybe that's the struggle that he needs to help him in the long run. Mm. So – if they win 10 games, make the playoffs, was it a mistake? Mm. No. Even if they don't win 10 games, even if they miss the playoffs, Skip, Coach Belichick is trying to play the long game. Mm. He says, this is the quarterback that I selected in the first round. I'm tied to him. He showed me enough in the joint practices and in the preseason games that I believe he can handle it. And when I say handle it, run the football, play action. We're not going to ask him to beat Tom in year 10. We're going to ask him to be Tom in the first two years. Okay. We believe he can handle that. So to say it's a mistake, Skip, we won't know. We're going to have to look and see maybe two, three years down the line. Mm -hmm. If he's a mess like David Carr, it was a mistake. Yeah. If he turns out to be Peyton Manning, if he turns out to be one of these other quarterbacks that started, got the hell beat out of him through 20-plus interceptions, and he turns out to be great. Now, I'm not saying he's going to be Peyton Manning. That's a whole different that's a whole different story, Skip. But I'm saying if he turns out to be what they think he's going to be, yeah. Skip, this might have been the right call. Although I do believe Cam Newton should have started the first the first started out first with him. Mm. Like six, seven games. Yes. Right? Yes. You, you yes. said five and two. I believe they could have been five and two with Cam Newton. And I kept telling you, you don't want to go in with a negative mindset like mm -hmm. Well, well, we'll put the kid in when Cam starts to fail. Well, you don't want Cam to fail. You, you'd hope he'd just hold on to the job right. and you'd go to the playoffs and win a couple of playoff games, right? Making this move, Skip, it seems to me Coach Belichick wanted this kid to play sooner rather than later. Well, sure. Okay. So, okay, that's what I told you all along. Yes. It, I can just see it, feel it, smell it. Mm -hmm. Belichick wants to go with this kid. Mm -hmm. And if he goes forward with this kid, Cam's personality is so huge you, you you have to cut it's bait. Dominating, you, yeah. you, you just have to clear the decks so that the kid's head is clear and he doesn't have Cam Newton right. looking over his shoulder. There was never a doubt, Skip, that if Mac Jones won this won this job, that Cam was going to get released. There was never a doubt about okay. that. All right. So I'm stepping back and I'm listening to what Jermaine Man. Wiggins said here. And I, I'm not going to dismiss it as absurd. No. I'm not going to say no. ass a nine, ass a ten, <laughs> ass a fifteen. Right. Or 12, maybe I should say, <laughs> for Tom Brady. But I, I'm good with him going forward with Mac Jones, but it ain't going to be easy. Right. Because Cam's not looking over his shoulder anymore, but Tom Brady is looking over his shoulder. Right. Whether you like it or not, he just is. The ghost of Brady or whatever, the, the specter of Brady is still hovering over this kid's shoulder. Expectations is looking over his shoulder because okay. a lot of people believe this is a playoff team. Okay. Well, that's Jermaine Wiggins' point <laughs> is that when you spend that much money mm -hmm. and you're poised to have a playoff team yes. and everything looks so much better than it looked last year, yeah. his point is, well, just go with the veteran. And figure it out. And if the kid has to sit for one year, maybe you maximize this year with right. the team and then you ease him in next year. And I don't really care that much about Jermaine Wiggins, but I will say he started on Brady's first go round right. in 2001. 2001. Yeah. Remember, he caught a couple it, of passes on that on that, that drive. Well, in the, the, the which drive? The Super Bowl. On the Super Bowl. Yeah. But, but I remember him most because I was there in the press box in the tuck rule game yeah. that launched the dynasty, mm -hmm. and it was the wrong call. It was a bad call. And Brady and company mm -hmm. and Belichick got the break of their life, right. but it launched a dynasty. Yes. 
Jermaine Wiggins in that game caught 10 passes in the snow. Yeah. It was pretty good. It wasn't for high yard. I think it was like 66 yards. Right. But he was he just kept catching big little right. passes, mm -hmm. like third and two passes. Right. They just throw it to Jermaine because it was there's no yeah, footing. Yeah, it wasn't throwing throw it, his way down the field. Throw it to the the guy with the biggest feet, right? right. The mm -hmm. guy who's got sort of snowshoes on right. and be Jermaine Wiggins. So he he knows what it felt like. To have it wasn't a rookie quarterback; it was second-year right. quarterback starting in his first year mm -hmm. for a team that I don't know that people thought it was going to be. Great. They didn't have the expectations no, that, that this, this team. One, they has. did not. That is well said. So the the problem Mac Jones is about to face is whether he likes it or not, he is going to be proclaimed. He he's going to be expected to be the next Tom Brady. Correct. That sooner than later, that's going to be his bar. It's right. going to be set up there, and it's completely unfair. Right. But but you're going to have to start living up to expectations because you kind of play like the other mm -hmm. guy does. At, at, at least in the when Tom was. You got his a first knee brace. And you skip. You saw he, his photo got, with the shirt off and he's smoking that cigar. Yeah. He got to look like Tom Brady. Okay. It is it is he a combine of, photo. He does. No, he, he does. <laughs> he, he's so just he, not as tall as Tom. No, he's Brady esque. What do we give him? Six two? I yeah, think I think he's six two. two. And Brady's six four. Right. So but he's probably slightly more athletic than Brady. I think he, he's definitely a little faster than Brady, yeah. but I don't think it's gonna manifest itself. Yeah, in the yeah, game. yeah. Okay. So the problem is this kid is gonna get like Brady didn't have to overcome anything. Right. Because it's just Drew Bledsoe who had struggled. They were 0 and 2 already. Right. They'd been 5 right. and 11 the right. year before. Right. So there was no real pressure on Tom Brady to be anything but Tom Brady. Correct. Right. Mm -hmm. And later he started to be compared to his hometown hero, to Joe Montana. Right. But that, that didn't come for a long yeah. time. But 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 Joe Montana didn't play for the for didn't play for the no the he Patriots. didn't play for that it was just <laughs> it's where Tom grew up right. going to 49er right. games in the Bay Area right so the point is in the end Jermaine has a point can the kid overcome the pressure to be Brady esque and yet I I cannot think if I'm going to throw a kid into a fire he's in the most protected fire he could ever be thrown into because now. The guy, m many people, and starting with the guy across the table, mm -hmm. thinks is the greatest head coach ever. He has bought completely into you, so he will do everything Look. in his power to make you right. Yep. To to put you, to prop you up, to protect you, to make sure that you do the very best you're capable of doing. Right. You have a powerful run game. It is deep and powerful. And for the very reason, Skip, we were talking about it yesterday about Mondre Stevenson, yep. Skip, getting the bulk of the carries. The reason why, they're going to run the ball 40, 50 times a game, and no one back can carry it like that over sustained time. Nope. But I got three backs that can carry it 40 to 50 times a game, and we can sustain that throughout the season, and that's going to be their recipe. You watch. Mm. And... Dink and dunk. Just yeah. like Brady dinked and dunked mm -hmm. his first couple of years. Yeah. Maybe, especially his first year. Yeah, you start getting nosy, Skip. You start getting nosy, try to jump one of those crosses. We'll throw the post in behind yeah. you. You get nosy. Okay. We'll fake this uh, bubble screen and we'll shoot the guy up the rail. Okay. okay. So the one line that caught my eye from Jermaine Wiggins was, I think it's a huge mistake and it has the potential to get really ugly. I, I thought that was kind of in your head and heart. Mm -hmm as you watch this thing start to take shape, because I thought you were thinking, oh, my God, if they throw this kid into the fire too soon, it could get ugly. Yeah, but, but Skip, I, th I just think the thing is that Coach Belichick says, look, we're better offensively, we're better defensively. I drafted this kid. Now, the kid surprised. I, I knew he was good, but I didn't think he, I didn't think he was going to be this good this quick. Why are we delaying it? Like I said, I, I heard it from someone that's very close to Coach Belichick that he almost went with Tom Brady in 2001. He said, no, I'm, I, you know, hey. No, he almost cut him, you mean? No, he oh. almost went with the star oh, wait, over Bledsoe. Oh, I got yes, you. I, I yes. thought you meant coming out of the. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. he went with him to start the right, year. Right, right. Okay. And so I think he's thinking, Skip, this is the same, I got the same opportunity. This guy showed me enough. Let me, I'm going to go with it. I'm gonna go with it. I believe Josh McDaniels can coach him up. Yep. We can let we can we can do things to uh, 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 to to prop him up. Yep. Because Skip, he dealt with pressure. Because most of the quarterbacks in the last decade that came through Alabama, they got a national championship on their resume. 
They're not, we don't know where they're going to be good at, at pros. But if you come through Alabama as a quarterback more times than not, what do you do, Skip? You play for and you win a national championship. Yep. And he had that on the, He got one crack at it. I give him that. He got one crack, Skip. Yep. He made the most of it. A he guy did. that many people thought was going to be a third or a fourth round pick somehow played so well he played his way into 15 pick overall. He did. So, Skip, it's, it's look. I still believe this team can win 10 or 11 games. I believe this is a playoff team, even with Matt Jones. Okay. And yet I still think there will be some growing. Oh, pace. of course. You know of it. Course, and I of know course. It. Even, Skip, even Justin Herbert, as well as he played, he had a game here that he had to get. He had the first game of the season against Kansas City. Had it locked up. He Made did. one mistake. He did. Gave him life boom. Mm -hmm. He had the situation in uh, uh, Tampa. They should have won Tampa. Just take a knee. But it wasn't his fault. They run a play. The guy gets stripped. Tom Brady gets a touchdown right before the half. It leads. You're going to struggle. That's your rookie. But I think Justin Herbert is better for having started. Skip, he wasn't going to start. Remember Tyrod Taylor? It was the accident that got him in the game. And he played so well. Like, man, we can't go back to Tyrod after how well he played. Justin Herbert had zero pressure of expectation. Mm -hmm. But they got a ton of expectation. Mm -hmm. You spend $200 million in free agency yep. after the owner said, hey, I, 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 look, I got the money, but I ain't trying to spend it. Mm. Like that, yep. we develop, we we draft. There's a ton of pressure on him. Yep. He do it. He'd be all right. You better hope so. Hey, I, I, I know one game he going to win for sure. <laughs> it might be the fourth game of the season. I don't know what, what, what day it is, but uh, I can believe that. You're talking he's going to beat Tom Brady? <laughs> I ain't say nothing, Skip. I just say I know the fourth game of the season well, he's going to win. You were, you were thinking about the Cowboy game, and then you switched in midstream and thought, you know what? I think you'll get Brady. What? So I got... Five cases is that the fourth right game now. of the season? I believe it is. Oh, okay. You want we get, that? When we get close to it, we you get want close five to, cases. Because right I think now? they might be three. They might I'll be. take five cases on the Buccaneers. They might right be three and zero oh at that point. Well, good. Three and zero, oh, they going to four and zero. Oh yeah. Well, I, I know the team that visits that that Sunday night. It's going to be three and zero oh for sure. You sure about that? Yep. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.